Welcome to another great lesson in App Inventor. Today I'm going to show you how to create multiple canvases for your paint pot project. I'm going to show you how to switch back and forth between um, two different canvases so that you can put in multiple pictures. We need to start first by adding another canvas. And if you remember from the last one, our canvas 2 we had the width set at fill parent and the height at 300 pixels. So the width, fill parent, we're going to set the height of our new one at 300 pixels. And don't worry if it pushes it down, we'll get to that in a second. Um, let's go ahead and rename this new one um, Canvas 1. So we'll have Canvas 1 and Canvas 2. And for our background image, go ahead and put another image. I've got a nice picture of Mr. Beck that I'm going to draw on. So we'll leave that and then under visible let's go ahead and uncheck visible for canvas one so when we start our app we'll just see the canvas two uh, picture after we've done that we need to set up our buttons so we're going to drop two new buttons here and I'm just going to put them in like that um, yeah, let's actually no, I don't want to do that. There we go. I'm just going to leave them underneath for now. It's more about function right now than it is about form. Um, let's rename this first one, and we're going to rename it. Go to Canvas Two. And we'll rename this one go to canvas one. Make sure you do not put any spaces. And then go back to go to canvas two and set the text. We want the text to the for the button to say canvas two. And this one will make it canvas one. And now we need to set up the blocks. So go ahead and open up your blocks. And I'll show you how this is going to work. Go to My Blocks and go down to our new buttons. Go to Canvas 1. We'll drag when Canvas or when uh, the Go To Canvas 1 is clicked to do this. And we'll do the same thing for when the Canvas 2 button is clicked. And after we've done that, we're going to select Canvas 1 and we're going to find where it says Set Canvas 1 Visibility to. And then for Canvas 2, find the same one Set Canvas Visibility to. And then we need to go to Built in and Logic, and we're going to be using True and False Logic here. So when go to canvas 1 is clicked, we want to set the visibility of canvas 1 to true because we want that one to be visible and we want canvas 2 visibility to be false. And then we will copy and paste these and we want to set up the opposite. So when canvas 2 button is clicked, we want canvas 2 to be visible and canvas 1 to not be visible. So I have my emulator open here. Let's see. I just need to connect to the device. And once I have that up, we can test it out. Um, but that'll allow you to switch back and forth between the two canvases. So once this pops up, we'll go ahead and test that and I'll show you that it works. And if you want to add more pictures, all you need to do is just add more canvases and then set up the buttons so that basically the one canvas that you want to show up will be true and then the rest will all be false. You set the visibility of it to false. So let's see. Looks like we're getting close here. We've got our screen coming up.
Okay. And it looks like the text didn't come up for that. So if I click Canvas 1, it should give us a picture of Mr. Beck. And if I click this one, which should say Canvas 2, it'll give us the second canvas. Now notice, I can draw on Canvas 1. Or actually, this is Canvas 2. But if I go to Canvas 1, which is Mr. Beck, and try to draw on it, it won't let me. And the reason for that is because we haven't set up any of this for Canvas 1. Everything is set up for Canvas 2. So in order to make it work, we're going to have to go to My Blocks and go to Canvas 1 and set up everything again for that. So Canvas 1, Paint Color 2, and basically I can copy and paste save time here. And do the color as well. So let's test it out now. Let's see. Ah, I need to set up this as well. So I need to go to Canvas 1, and when Canvas 1 is touched, and I need to get Call Canvas 1 Draw Circle. That's going to be under there. And basically, I can copy these so when I touch it, it should work now. Maybe not yet. Maybe I need to finish this as well. So when Canvas two is or Canvas one is dragged, so we're gonna have to do that as well. And Canvas one draw line. Copy these. And I should be good to go now. Um, I just need to set up, let's see, a call canvas one clear. Let's see. So let's see, we have these. So basically, I need to set up. Let's see, let's try it out. No? Okay. Basically, let me try. I may just need to, since I've added a lot of stuff, I probably, what I need to do is open the blocks editor again. And then go ahead and try it out again. A lot of the times what it is, is resetting the blocks editor will allow you to uh, refresh the code and let's go ahead and try to connect let's see what we got Okay, it's coming up now.
we are getting there. Once this comes up, we'll test it out, see if that worked. Huh. Okay. Let's go to Canvas 1. The operation draw line cannot accept the arguments. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So obviously there's something with our draw line. Okay, well, 